Hello. Today I am talking about uh, coral reefs, but I'm not talking about the coral reefs that we're used to seeing. Not the ones that are up near the surface uh, with bright fish and bright corals. I'm talking about deep coral reefs. Now these are reefs that you'll find um, at um, places from 20 meters, which is about 100 feet lower. And it can go very low. It can, I mean, we can find corals as far as 6,000 meters down. But most of what we're talking about is, is this area here from 50 meters, maybe to 400 meters, where the light gets very dim. There's not a lot of light here, if any. Unlike the corals at the surface, which get a ton of light. They get a whole bunch of light. These ones down here hardly get any. And what we see is the, um, the corals down here tend to be very drab in color. They don't have a lot of color to them. They don't need a lot of color because that color is associated with photosynthesis. And we're gonna find out that these deep corals are um, getting their nutrients from other sources. So uh, they tend to be um, larger, like plate corals uh, that can absorb some of the light, or you'll see these kind of branching corals, but that are very drab. You can see in the background here, there's just no light penetrating at that point. If we're gonna go down and study any of these, we can only dive down to certain depths. Um, and you need special equipment. You'll see scuba divers that have extra tanks on their backs when they need to get down to these depths past uh, 50 meters. Um, uh, you, you're only going down at most, at most maybe 100 meters or so. Those are records for diving. Other than that, you'd have to go study these in submersibles. So anything really deep you're using submersibles to do it. If you're, if you're up here at the surface, you can go snorkeling. You can just be free diving and go see these kinds of corals. Now, the reason that there's a difference in color is because corals at the surface are using different sources of nutrients than corals that are deep. And the ones at the surface, like this, these corals here, they have algae living inside them, these green algae. They're green, means they're going through photosynthesis, and they live inside of the coral. There's a symbiosis. Again, these are the ones right at the surface, lots of light penetrating through the first couple of feet of water, and they can go through photosynthesis. The deep corals cannot do that. There's not enough light. So they have to rely on something else and it's called marine snow. And that's what we see here. And what it looks like is all these little particles from the, the things that are dead and decaying at the surface that slowly sink down as they die. So zooplankton, phytoplankton at the surface, once they die, their little parts fall as what's called marine snow. And it gets less and less dense towards the bottom, but that's what these corals are gonna eat. The deep corals eat this marine snow. They just filter it out of the water because they don't have any kind of algae or photosynthesizers, okay? So they rely entirely on this marine snow falling from the surface. Now, you're gonna see a difference in, in corals that are up at the surface that I said have algae. They're gonna be green. They're gonna have a green tinge to them um, but if a coral at the surface is stressed or it dies, this algae gets expelled and it becomes bleached. So we have a bleached coral. But again, you're going to be able to tell the difference here because this is going to be right at the surface, these bleached corals. They're not going to be deep underwater. The deep reef corals can also be white in appearance because they never had any algae in the first place. And this marine snow can clump together. You won't see green bits, but you'll see things that look like um, dying skin cells or small shells or even fecal matter that's kind of clumped together as it drifts down through the, um, 
through the water column. And then finally, when talking about these deep, reef, deep reefs, they're in the most danger from these big trawling uh, ships. And these trawling ships, they have these huge nets that sink all the way to the bottom. And they just drag across the bottom, scraping everything up. And so these deep reefs, when these trawlers come through, they just get completely scraped up and you have nothing but barren wastes that looks like rock and rubble where used to be corals, some large plate corals or, or branching corals. Now it's just scraped up rock and debris. And again, that's gonna be different than the ones at the surface and you can tell that they're at the surface, you'll see the water uh, where these ones are bleached and that's, that's different. That's from they lost their algae and they're bleached and dead. Where the deep corals, they just get completely scraped off the surface of the, of the ocean. Um, and it's just these big trawlers. If you're doing any kind of fishing right by the shore or if you have nets on the shore, you're talking about surface reefs, not deep reefs. Okay, what we want to do now is look at the papers that you have. And you have three papers, and they're all associated with what I just went over in that mini lecture. All you need to do is look at each picture and tell me, is this associated with deep coral? and you put a star next to it? Or is this associated with surface coral and you put a check mark? All right, for instance, these big plate corals, those are deep reefs, we talked about that. But this here, um, this bright, uh, these bright corals with all these bright fish, those are surface corals, okay? And you just go through each one marking whether it's associated with deep coral or surface coral. And you're gonna do the same for all of these pages. So three pages here correspond with the three pages I went over in the lecture. All right, thank you very much.